Hey guys, welcome to Weekly Crypto. Today I'm going to talk about Bitcoin and the price actions. Before we do that, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with the upcoming airdrop, hard fork, and ICO. Actually, there's a airdrop coming up for MediBlock. I created a video about MediBlock a few days ago, so go and check it out. And let's get back to the Bitcoin. So 87.5% all Bitcoin will be mined by 2020 and why it matters. So the bot reward for Bitcoin will be half in the next two years. The, the estimate time for the next half of the reward is about 732 days, which is around two years. So the reward will be less. Uh, it will be the difficulty of mining will be more difficult. And the current bear market offer opportunity for investor to buy and hold Bitcoin and it's currently trading at very low price today. So also with sell off and FUD, uh, fear, uncertainty and doubt and it create a very uh, general uh, bearish sentiment in the market. And because of CFTC and also US Department of Justice declared the existence of a probe into the crypto markets for fraudulent practices. As the price currently low, interest by institutional investor is on the high side because of the successful consensus meeting. And uh, of course, you know, the smart money always buy on a, when, you know, when there's blood on the street. This is, this is how they make big money. And only the small individual investor is chasing when the Bitcoin is at 20,000, right? <clears throat> Also, uh, Goldman Sachs uh, beginning uh, cryptocurrency trading desk as well. And the 21 million coin will be mined by 2040. Because the time, the electricity and computing power required to mine, to, to mine a new coin is constantly in, increasing. So, as the block reward is half every 210 thousand block it constantly decreases the rate at which it is possible to create new Bitcoin tokens. So on May 28, 2020 will decrease the reward from the current 12.5 coins to 6.25 coins which is half and the total coins mined before the next half of the block reward will be 18 uh, million which must uh, what mark the 87.5 percent of the possible 21 million Bitcoin token because Bitcoin has no inflation ethereum do have inflation so they can ethereum take into account of the un, uh, lost token and all that I think they I don't know the percent they may be three percent inflation I'm not sure so uh, Bitcoin has no inflation 21 million and that's it so there's no uh, you cannot just print money just like the uh, Federal Reserve you know, you can print money out of thin air. So, after the financial crisis. So, this with this happen, it will exp exponentially reduce the speed at which uh, the speed at which the new Bitcoin come into existence and spiking up the demand for the coin due to the reduced supply. So, this is just basic supply and demand uh, economics. If the supply is going down and the, de the demand will just keep going up because there's a lot right now there's only uh, not that many people hold Bitcoin uh, so the demand will go up in the future but the supply is that's it you fix the supply the price of course will go up so uh, analysts predict that this bear market will be the last one before 2020 so they talk about this bear market is the last one for investors to buy into Bitcoin before the price go up to 10,000 plus 10k plus reduced block reward will result in supplying cutting off and demand going up which will cause an exponential spike regulators and institutional investors are moving in in a safe way allowing for large-scale adoption of financial system disruptor well institutional uh, have no choice if they don't evolve eventually uh, the blockchain technology will, will, will replace uh, the banking system in a way but it will be uh, it will be sometime in the future so I don't know if you remember super crypto I talked about uh, this article uh, previous article actually so I so super crypto called for 95% correction when Bitcoin was at 20,000 so far uh, we have 70% correction the final 
uh, finale is yet to happen. So if you haven't uh, uh, if you haven't read the previous article of, about super crypto, I can put the link below. I also create a video about this uh, in March. So how low Bitcoin can go, cartel uh, price oppressions and manipulation. So basically, uh, the article. Uh, this is the previous article. So. Basically, uh, is the previous article is fourth dimension Bitcoin manipulation cartel price oppression is the goal. So basically, the article is talk about how the future markets in gold, uranium, and silver uh, suppress the price of those commodity. And the reason article uh, super crypto uh, put in is May twelve cartel strike number three. Bitcoin drops from 10k to 7k. So Tommy had project a, uh, projected a Bitcoin consensus rally, but what happened? There's no rally. Uh, it's basically a 25% correction or 25% dump. So cartel strike number three happened. And so before you uh, before you get into this article, uh, I would suggest you read the previous article about this uh, fourth dimension, or you can watch my previous video about how uh, low Bitcoin can go and how the cartel suppress the price and doing manipulation uh, of the Bitcoin. So uh, most of the crypto uh, community is in denial about the price suppressions. Uh, they will remain so for years to come. Now the Department of Justice is uh, open an investigation into Bitcoin uh, illicit trading, and there's a Fed research paper that say the rapid run up and subsequent fall in the price after the introduction of future does not appear to be coincidence. That means that with the introductions of the Bitcoin futures with the CME, COBE, it dragged down the prices of Bitcoin. So financial elite had hold a lot of ammunition and they have used hardly 5% so far. So 95% is still intact and unused. If I'm, uh, if I'm not wrong, we will be in this game for several uh, more years to come. And there will be many rallies and dips. And by the way, with when a lot of YouTubers talk about uh, the CME future and all that thing last year back in probably October or December when they launched the CME future, I I don't for me I don't want any institution to come in because once they come in they can manipulate manipulate the market and the future just give them an additional tools to to control the market. But a lot of YouTubers say, oh great, uh institutional money come in, we're going to pump up the price, we're going to Lambo, go to the moon, but see what happened now. So, uh, And don't forget the fundamentals of blockchain technology is decentralized the power back to the people from institution control. Right now, the institution come in and manipulate the market. It defeat the whole purpose of the fundamentals of the uh, Bitcoin. Uh, remember Satoshi, they create Bitcoin after the financial crisis and uh, because of because of the financial crisis, Bitcoin uh, is the creation of Bitcoin uh, become a uh, realization. So we've got to go back to the fundamentals, why we have uh, Bitcoin and why we have blockchain and everything. So let's see. And then get back to the article. So crypto, uh, super crypto talk about, let me repeat, because these days we all have a memory span of a goldfish, three seconds. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. So there will be many rallies and dips. Did you hear me? <laughs> so you can stop reading here if you feel all this is fun. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Anything that conflicts in Moon in Lambo version is called fun. Crypto community uh, consists of mostly uh, millennium. So they know the technology very well, but very few, few people know the financial system and geopolit uh, geopolitics works. It is a cruel world out there, and, and this is absolutely true because the financial system is they use fractional lending. Um, for example, if you deposit the money in a bank for one thousand, the bank will long. Uh, they don't have to have one thousand in their reserve. 
I think it's 3%. So they loan out your money and in the reserve, they only have 3% of your 1,000. So isn't it scary? If all the people go to the bank at the same time to get the money out, you don't, I don't think you can get the money out because they only have 3%. This is the requirement for the, uh, for the banking system, 3% of the uh, reserve. And the rest, they loan it out so they can uh, make money out of you guys. So before the CME started, Neil, uh, 86 years old, CME uh, chairman, uh, CME is a Ch Chicago Mercantile Exchange that we will tame uh, Bitcoin. Most of the Bitcoin community laugh at him. He is a chairman of a group whose uh, notational value is 1380 trillions. Uh, note the word trillions and trillions people. His statement has a deep ma meaning to it. Most people miss it completely. And then one of uh, Super Crypto followers described in a single tweet where I could not could not uh, what I could not say in several prose. And he talk about let's see, cartel use future to drive out small investor from precious metal and Bitcoin market. Cartel buy up those market chip. Fiat crumbles, but the cartel cartel always own the replacement currency. World continues with them in control. I mean, this is absolutely true in a way because uh, the gold market, uh, the silver market, the uranium market, because of the future market, it controls the price. And especially the silver price, it pumps up all the way to 40 bucks, right? And it, and it goes back down because they increase the margin requirements. So the the trader has no choice. They don't want to. Uh, they have to fulfill the margin call, so they dump everything. So strike number one and two. So uh, you strike number one and or and two has already happened. So you can go back to a previous article about uh, strike number one and two, that uh, they have a deep like CME uh, start the institutional money pour into the BTC. And we're going to Lambo that is back in last year around December. And after that, there's a correction. So you can go back to the previous video. Uh, we're going to talk about strike number three because those already happened. All this. So, so they told me again once we break, uh, we break 10k, we will never see 10k again. After the recent bottom 6,400 on March 31st. Bitcoin had been steadily rising. In the first week of May uh, 2000, uh, 2018, we have exciting news like Goldman opened a Bitcoin trading operation. And Super Crypto talk about this is not an exciting news because Goldman will be selling and buying Bitcoin paper photocopies. That is very true. They are just, you know, they are just buying a paper a Bitcoin. They are not going to hold the actual one. That is very sad. Anyway, with several exciting news, 10K was in the site and Twitter space was full of uh, full Lambo, Moon, and Rockets pictures. And this is generally a time where my sell order get executed. <laughs> that is absolutely true. So do what they... You have to be contrarian in order to win in this market. You cannot just go with the flow. You've got to do something different. You've got to be contrarian. So Twitter was very sure over the last three weeks, Bitcoin Master and Superstar claimed that should the big Bitcoin break above 10k, then all this was a, was a was all but a foregone conclusion in the view. It will be the last time that investor would ever see 10k again. So what happened? Uh, the magical 10k. Well, <laughs> it broke below the 9k, right? <laughs> For the last few weeks. So, uh, you know. Uh, after the consensus, it was it dropped below. Uh, it go near around eight k, and then finally it go below uh seven point five k on May twenty third. So where and how did it start? It start with Bitcoin bashing by Buffett and Bill Gates at the magical ten k. Uh, so Saturday 9 a.m. Bitcoin is at 9990, okay, and ready to break the 10k any moment. So Warren Buffer, remember Warren Buffer call is a red poison Bitcoin, and Bitcoin drop couple hundred and then tries to 
rally again. It dropped 500 once the news hit the channel. And then Bill Gates and then Trash Bitcoin. Uh, I think he wanted to short Bitcoin or something. He mentioned something. And also, so the stage is all set. This is like orchestra by the cartel. And then it's time to for them to take over. Then Mel Gox, Nvidia, South Korea, and a couple of uh, plain vanilla dumb at a few hundred dollars in the flow close to each other. Everything is clear, visible in 15 minutes charge, uh, chart. Uh, mission accomplished. 2000 natural correction is achieved. So crypto space is ready to fight over whether this is a natural correction or manipulation. So over 40 hours, uh, it dropped by almost, uh, I think, let's see. So uh, 9 a.m. May 5th, 9990 magic number, ready to break 10K. And then May 5th, Warren Buffer Bitcoin is a red poison. Charlie Mungo saying that Bitcoin uh, trading as bad as as bad as trading harvest baby brains. I mean, what on earth will you think about something like that? Oh my god. Uh, and then Bill Gates, uh, Bitcoin, uh, greater full theory type of investment. I think he mentioned he wants to know, uh, he wants to short Bitcoin. Uh, I think the Wingo tw twins tweet back that you can easily short Bitcoin, whatever. It's kind of funny. And... So we talk about uh, Red Poison, 9990, Melgox, dumb at 9350, and then the video forecast, 9100, South Korea exchange rate at 8950, and then several FUD news, including Operation Crypto Sweep, China crackdown, Indian tax eventually took BTC below 7500. So how can that happen in you know from ten k all the way um, like almost more than two thousand uh, drop in price? Excuse me. So here are a few uh, dumps recorded on fifteen minute candle. So Mel Gox dump, South Korea again uh, exchange rate, and Nvidia forecast. Uh, I just want to go down on volume. <laughs> we are going to moon and order your Lambo. Moon, no, no more. Go down. <laughs> okay. So zero hedge, uh, crypto have been hit uh, with a triple whammy today. The last twenty four hours have not been pretty for cryptocurrency boo. So the entire space tumble almost instantly as a large block went through in a Bitcoin. And suggesting Mel Gox's custody was unloading once again. So crypto crushed by 24-hour uh, triple whammy. Mel Gox, Nvidia, South Korea exchange rate. So then we get 26% correction. So here's the complete picture from May 5th to May 23rd. There's a 26% correction so far and it was smacked down at 8,600. So here, Warren Buffer, uh, Warren Buffer, Bitcoin, Red Poison, Mel Gold, Nvidia, South Korean Exchange, and Operation Crypto Sweep, and China Crackdown plus Indian Tax. So in less than probably two weeks or three weeks, it goes all the way from 999 to right now uh, not on the 23rd actually. Around seven thousand four hundred something, I think today is even lower. So, do you know Bitcoin value is one thousand eight hundred? According to Federal Reserve report, Bitcoin price has hypothetical value of one thousand eight hundred. The re this report was published on May twenty fourth. Obviously, the price was smacked down by about five hundred after this DOJ uh pop news. I think I read something about the cost of mining Bitcoin is around 4,500. How do they come up with 1,800? So I I don't know. It's just it's an orchestra manipulation. So here uh, you talk about US launch criminal probe into Bitcoin price manipulation. Justice Department opened investigation into uh, 
illicit uh, trading agency is working with CFTC, which oversees crypto futures. The Justice Department has opened a criminal probe into whether traders are manipulating, uh, manipulating the price of Bitcoin and other digital currency. So the investigation focuses on illegal practice that can influence prices, such as uh, spoofing, flooding the market with fake orders to trick other traders into buying or selling. And thank you, manipulators. Here is my simple strategy. Long manipulators, short mooners. So here is what uh, he, he did. It's like a stop dreaming Lambo. So rarely, so on rarely against my greed. Remain aware there are sharks in the water. Sharks will turn the river red. I will hide and keep cash ready when entire river is red. Think gold and silver today. I guess few years from now. So this is pretty interesting. So lesson, lesson number one, acknowledge we are in a war, never underestimate the enemy. So be careful about who you follow. So you have to ask three simple questions. Did they tell you we are going to moon soon in November, uh, December last year? Did they tell you institution no money is going to pour into the crypto market? Yes, it did, but on the short side. Did on the short side, they shot the market, okay? <laughs> They're not buying into the market, they shot the market last year. And did they tell you we are going to burn the fiat and banking system soon and Bitcoin will be the next reserve currency? So there's a, there's a lot of... Uh, so you have to keep a balance of bear and bulls. Uh, the person you follow, you've got to have a critical thinking, you know, you cannot just follow blindly whatever the YouTubers say, you've got to look at the reason, also uh, the fundamental like geo geopolitical pressure, stuff like that, and then the, uh, also uh, there's a lot more to do to the financial system and the Wall Street than the Moon and Lambo, this is absolutely true, I mean you've got to understand the fundamentals, what's going on with the current financial system and why the uh, why the market uh, the financial crisis happened in 2008 and all that fiasco back then and also we have to understand the petrol dollar and all that thing those are tied in everything together Soros does not buy Bitcoin at 10k and 20k if he does there's a reason for that try to research 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 his past actions and find out remember Soros did uh, shot the British pound so go back and look at what's going on. So he overnight he shot the British pound. So and he made tons of money out of that. So conclusion for him is no Lambos for me. I buy used car and because I'm poor and cheap, the most important thing for me is I buy them cash, no debt, no credit card. Sounds like he's a gold butt. Uh, I was recently asked, when are you going to buy Lambo? Here's my tweet on it. No Lambo for me. I bought a Camry 2009 and Civic 2012 recently, both over 100,000 miles. He's a smart guy because I, if you buy a new car, the depreciation is right away. When you, once you drive to the driveway, you, your car is going to depreciate. I mean, it's a smart decision to buy a used car. I'm a I'm a minimalist and my needs are minimum. I just care about my retirement. I'm a, I'm lot I'm a lot happier when I'm not seeking anything. And by the way, I also buy silver with cash. And so this is also another link about future bull market, Bitcoin or silver. So in conclusion, he talked about I'm a long-term mooner but a mid-term bear and therefore a short-term trader. I collect Bitcoin just like all Bitcoiners. I also feel that we are going to 100k. It's just a different time zone for me. My time frame for the moon is at least at least few years in the future. So the mooners, the Lambo guy or mooners, they want to go to moon right now. I want to accumulate a lot more before going to the moon. 
call me a contrarian. If you like, there's nothing right or wrong in investing. There are only profit and loss. I would like to be wrong and have the profit than being right and having losses. That is absolutely, absolutely true. So one of the most important skills that one can develop as an investor is the ability to think differently. Contrarian is the person who takes up a con uh, contrarian, uh, contrary position that is opposed to the majority. So don't follow the, uh, the herds, the sheep. And there's no right or wrong in investing, there's only profit or loss. So he also make a fun about the big connect in here. <laughs> that is pretty interesting. So this is I know this is pretty long, but I mean, uh, you got to take the time to understand the fundamental reason uh, why uh, what's happening right now with the future markets. Not only do they have a Bitcoin futures now, they have also have Ethereum future markets. They just launched probably a few weeks ago. So they want to control uh, the price of Bitcoin as well as the Ethereum as well. So what do you think? Uh, so what do you think about this um, price prediction? So uh, let me know what you think. If you find this video interesting and helpful to uh, boost up the way how you think or you think differently, because you have to think uh, critically. You cannot just uh, follow the YouTubers blindly, and you also have to do your own research. And most of the time. CM, when CMBC talk about everything is going to the moon, you do the opposite, just like the stock market. I mean, when you watch CNBC, they want you to just like it hurts, and they want you to lose money. And you, if you do the opposite, what the CNBC say, you you are you are in a better shape. So it happens all the time. So they they the channel is not he is not there for to help individual investor. They have their own agenda as well. So let me know what you think about this video. If you find this video interesting and helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, it will help out my rating and everything. And I will produce more uh, interesting article for you guys, uh, or video for you guys as well. And uh, yeah, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also share with your friends. Uh, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the upcoming airdrop, half for an ICO. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing ICO has inherent risk. Please use the due diligence. Remember, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace.